Welcome back, folks, to a brand new how to build. Today, I will be showing you how to build your own mini replica of um to, of season two apple key for BattleBots maximum velocity. Um, now this is based on the cat, I believe, from um on the BattleBots wiki. Of course, I forget who this was request. Oh, this was requested by Alpha Blizzard Productions, I believe. Um, thank you for requesting that, but this replica, by the way, there's how to build. Um, Alpha Blizzard Productions. Um, so yeah, this today I'm showing you how to make your own little mini replica of maximum velocity. So let's get into what you're actually going to need to build it. To build maximum velocity, you will need the following. You are going to need these instructions, which are located in the description below. You're going to need a black marker or pen, a red marker or pen, or crayon. Crayon also works really well. Uh, so ruler, pencil, pair of scissors, something to cut holes with. One toothpick, um, pencil sharpener, a compass, which I don't have, I use something else, um, or any round object. Yeah, I use a round object thing. Um, some tape, and I, oh, um, cargated cardboard, at least that's what I use. You can use some other material if you want. Um, oh, some plastic for the plastic bits on uh, maximum velocity. And I believe that is all. So, let's get on to building the main robot. So, of course, when building maximum velocity, you are going to start by um, taking your instructions and copying them onto the cardboard or whatever you're using. You're then going to color it in. And then um, a layer of tape over the top should be good. And then um, duct tape over the bottom if you wish. If not, that's cool as well. And then you're just going to cut it out. Um, except for the plastic bits. The plastic, you're going to cut some plastic off of some, re off of something. I used a muffin box, which was made of plastic. I just kind of cut out the plastic bits, and, uh, that's kind of it. I would recommend you using a fine tip sharpie to mark the plastic bits so that you can actually see where you're cutting. Other things don't work as well, in my opinion. So, um, do that and just cut everything out, and let's get to the building the main robot. Okay, so let's continue. So, um, let's make the side, um, armor panel area, I guess. So, um, to do that, you're going to take, um, so you have two, which are 8.5 centimeters by 0.5. Take those little strips, and then take the one that has the little, um, wheel guard kind of things on the bottom. Take that one, and then, uh, 9 by 1.75. Take that panel, and then you're just going to make kind of a rectangular, um, cuboid, I think it's called. Um, leave the little space at the back, um, right there, though. You're gonna want to do that, of course, though. Do that and just make it into something, which is a cuboid, which would, should look like something like this, as you can see. So yeah, do that. Sorry if you hear some background noise. So now you're going to want to um, attach. So you have these kind of triangular panels. So uh, it's, I believe it's um, three by two point two five. Um, here's three, two point two five at the bottom, and then one point seven five at the back. You have two of those, and then you have one that is, uh, I forget how thin, it's, um, 2.6 centimeters by 0.5, and you're going to do this over the top, and then you're just going to attach it onto the side, like so, and then I actually didn't cut out the panels, I just colored it in, but, um, you also have two, another panel, which is 1.75 by 0.5, which is going to go across here, across the front, maybe you need to cut a bit out so you can, that this fits, so do that, and you're going to replicate that, um, twice, because you're going to do it on the other side as well. Okay, so now you're going to take, um, so you have a 1.75 by 9 panel, and then you have a 1.75 a 1 by 8 panel, and then you have, um, um, two 9 centimeter panels, 9 by 5, by 0.5 centimeter panels, um, mine are a bit different just because I messed up the original things, but basically this should go all the way across, and this shouldn't be here, but basically you're just going to slot it in over the top, and then tape it on. It makes a lot more sense if I do it for this one because this one's actually correctly done. You're just going to slot it in over the top like so and then just attach it in on and then you have something that looks like so and you're going to do that on the other side as well. So do that. Okay, so now we're going to swing a few things to the, well, now we're going to swing over to the weapon kind of, um, the weapon setup for the chassis. So you're not actually going to make the weapon yet, but um, you have this panel, which is um, 1.75 by 2.5. Take that, and uh, you're just going to put that to the side, actually, for a bit. Um, so you have a bunch of these little panels. You have four of these, and then you have um, two separate strips. So one strip is 5.5 uh, by 0.5, 5, 
you're going to put that all the way around the top and um, make from here all the way to here. Then you're going to have two more panels, which are 5, 0.5 by 4. Um, two, one of those will go here, and the other one will go from here and finish up here on the top. And you'll have uh, one uh, of the things, and you have to create some holes in little centers, kind of. Um, try to figure out where that should be. We want to put that, and you're going to create some holes, and make sure it's toothpick sized. And then do it, and then do the same with, um, you have two separate, because I think you have enough for, um, two of those. Because you have two of those, of course, and you're just going to line it up with the toothpick as well. Make sure it's right, and then insert the little back panel on. Hopefully that makes sense, um, but yeah. So do that. Okay, so, uh, let's get onward. So, um, next you are going to take, uh, you kind of... What you've built up so far, right? So you have this, of course. What you have ha done so far. Right, and you're just going to take it. And you're going to attach this kind of in the center next to these panels. So do that. Might need to squeeze it in a bit. But yeah, do that. Okay, so next up you have, um, you have an 8 centimeter by 0.5 centimeter strips. So you have two of those. And you're going to take your 8 by a 1.75 centimeter. You have two of those as well. And you're gonna make another um, rectangular cuboid, and then you're going to attach it um, onto the backs of these, kind of in the center area, and that's gonna definitely make up a majority of the frame, as you can see. It strengthens it a lot more, and now it's really beginning to take shape. So um, let's get on to the next step of building the robot. Okay, so next up, um, you're gonna take so you have two panels which are labeled as P for plastic, and um, some of the parts are labeled as second. Now, those parts you're only going to use well, once. Um, those are going to be only done once. But um, this is the panel which is not labeled second. This is the first panel. And this one you're going to just attach over the top like so. This one's a bit messed up. This came from a muffin box. So, um, there's a bit of stain there which I couldn't clean off. Other than that, it looks fine. Um, so, yeah, attach this on like so. So yeah, do that. Okay, so next up, we may as well put on the actual spinner. So um, you have two of these, and then you have a very long strip, which is 0.75 by 10.5. Just gonna wrap it around the very unique spinner of um, maximum velocity. You're gonna take out your toothpick. You're just gonna slot it back in, sort of. I probably didn't need to remove it completely, but um, yeah. But you're gonna um, start sliding it in. Then you have two very small circles with a diameter each of one, and you're just going to insert one onto the side. Insert like so. And then the spare. I can get it up through. There we go. Other little circle. I'm going to have to do that off camera. There we go. I got it through, and then I'm just going to Kind of clip off a bit of toothpick here. Okay, I'm just gonna snap that off. And then I'll color this um, so it fits in a bit. But um, yeah, do that. And there you go, you have a working spinner. Um, so now we are going to take some wheels. So we're gonna make some wheels. So you have um, four strips, which are 5.5 .5 by 0 0.7. And you're just gonna wrap them around your wheels, which are have a diameter of equal to 7.75. I think that should be diameter, no, wait, yeah, diam that should be a p diameter of 1.75, that's incorrect on the instructions, I'll just switch that, fix that right there, but yeah, it should have a diameter equal to 1.75, and you're just going to do that four times, because you're going to have two, um, there are eight circles, and you're going to have them done, so, um, yeah, and next take your bottom piece of plastic, and you're going to kind of tape them onto the bottom like insert them through little rectangular areas and then tape them on to so do that hopefully that I'm making sense I'll show you what I mean in a bit it in a bit this is what I meant as you can see I've I just taped it on kind of to the little plastic and I just attached the plastic on and then, like you can see it has very it has tons of ground clearance but it is quite accurate and you, and you can see the wheels through quite similar to how I did my rapid wheels how did the wheels on rapid so uh yeah but uh that is how you attach those and now it's really beginning to hit the shape of um maximum velocity so now we're going to add the self writer so you're going to start by do, so you're going to, to do this you're going to start by taking tons of panels you're going to have all four of uh, these kind of angled panels then you have your two panels which i believe are the centimeters of eight are 
their measurements are 8.2 by 0.5 and then you have another two which are 6.75 yeah by 8.5 so uh you're just gonna kind of just uh, make these kind of three-dimensional using two and then uh one of each of uh, these so yeah just do that twice okay so as you can see i've completed the actual robot at this point but i'm going to explain what else you do so once you've made these you're now going to take um so you have four of these little panels so you're not actually going to make them like attach them onto the actual body and then just put toothpicks through them mainly just because that'd be a really real pain um just because they're so small so instead i actually tape them onto the actual self writers and so the self writers it looks like they're actually onto the touch of the thing but they just move with the self writer um, hopefully that kind of makes sense. I'm actually going to show you right now because I've actually taped the self writers in place for right now. That looks a bit nice right now. But also so I can just get them to stay in place because right now they're bending all out of shapes, right? Because um, obviously they're very thin and very flimsy. So if I can just, I'm just bending them into shape right now using some tape to keep them in place. And eventually that should just stay like so. And I can take off the tape. But um, that's something I do quite a bit with my flippers as well. Just because cargate and cardboard does like to move around quite a bit. Um, at least I think that's one of the reasons. Anyway, so um, let's add the wedge on next. So um, to add the wedge, you have four of these little panels, as you can see here. And you have a giant wedge. So um, so uh, I think this piece is pretty, you can pretty much, it's not hard to identify. So I don't think I need to go over the measurements for this thing. But you have um, four little things and you have your little bit sticking out, right? So you're going to attach the four little things um, to, um, to around the little kind of hole areas on each side. You'll do that. And then you're just going to kind of slide them inwards um, into the actual thing. Into little pokey bits that stick out of the, um, that come, that are part of the side panel. And then you're just going to kind of tape it on from there. And your wedge should just stick on. Hopefully that made sense. But yeah, and there you have it. That's maximum velocity. Overall, I think the wedge might be a bit too large. But other than that, I'm very happy with this replica. You can see the spinner kind of works. The... Uh, might need to clear that up a bit so it doesn't do that, but yeah, very nice spinner. Um, I'm just gonna test its power. Let's take P1. Obviously, if this, if this is gonna be if this is gonna be in the series, if I, I probably will be doing it um, our, um robot combat model style, but um, yeah, yeah, it doesn't do much damage. So I would recommend doing RCM style, but yeah, as you can see. Weapon does work. I'm very happy with this replica overall. Very nice robot. So thank you to whoever requested the how to build for this. And uh, have a good day.